Hello and welcome to this reaction of Doctor Who. We are on season two of the classic run, episode 38. This is the next to last episode of this serial and this season. I'm not ready, not prepared. Uh, I know next season has a lot of missing episodes, so it would be really weird. And I think season four, they said, has a lot of missing episodes. So I don't know how much uh, William Hartnell we're going to get. And I am loving him as the doctor. Missing the companions. I'm still missing them. I'm hurt. I'm sorry. I'm new to them. I, I grew attached. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a little different dynamic without them there. You know, Vicky's kind of catching on to the time traveling thing. And Steven is very raw, not believing him and very, you know, he's been by himself for a couple of years. So he's very brash. Without further ado, let's get to the show and see where this goes. Ooh, a battle of wits. It'll be interesting. Oh, thank you, Father. Dude, you're hurting that bad. You need to tend to his wounds now. Yes, he was in there, all right, Vicky. What? There's only one possible answer. What? A secret passage. A secret pa No, no. Listen, they always have them in castles and monasteries and things in case of siege or fire or... See my buddy Cap back there. Something. Well, don't just sit there. Help me look. Is it a secret door? Who's a clever girl then? And it has a handle. Uh oh. <laughs> You're smart enough to capture him, and that's what you. Is this going to be week two of No Doctor in Doctor Who? That's crash course for Steven, huh? Oh, how much longer does this thing go on? It must go on for quite a way, Vicky. If only to get clear of the monastery up there. Oh, it's so damp. So we'd better get out of here quickly. I was going along to tell them that I'd come to no harm whilst I was making investigations, as we might say. But, uh, well, now, now you'll tell me they came here and they've gone on to the monastery. Well, hmm? I can't think how you missed them. Oh, it's all perfectly simple. I left at the rear entrance. You've seen them? And, and oh. their fleet? Hmm? Oh, no, no, not a fleet. This was just a small band of men. They must have come from one ship. Yes, I see. Yes, I Gouts. see. Hmm. Uh. I, uh, I thought it was William of Normandy's invasion across the Channel. Not a Viking invasion, he feared. Yes, the monk and this situation just can't be a coincidence. The monk? <laughs> Did you say the monk? Yes, I was face him. I uh, realize that I've got a far shorter time than I thought I had. Uh, I'm what? always leaving you. Will he? And in a few weeks' time, he loses the Battle of Hastings to William the Conqueror. <laughs> well, at least that's what the history book said happened. <laughs> she heard him say it. <laughs> Doctor! Doctor! No, for some reason, I don't think that's the smartest thing to start doing. No, I think we should go back to the monastery. Oh, no, because the doctor will want to investigate just as much as you, probably more. Let's find him and all three do it together, hmm? Okay, Con, you lead the way. He's got, like, at least 1950s medicine. That's three days, Father. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. What is this guy? Two or three days. What is this play? I'm on schedule. He's on schedule. Take your friend home and give thanks that within these they sacred walls... They have to stay for a day or two, Father. He's very weak. Stay here? Oh, don't worry, Father. My wife, Edith, will call regularly and attend to any additional work, and, and I will come to if, if work permits. Now look here, my son. I... Yes, Father? Just put him in your... prison. And he can't see your plan. He could hide. Do it. Coward! Kill me. Go on, kill me. Do it. If you don't, the Saxons will. And you'll be dead too if you don't listen to what I say. I suppose you've already thought of a place to hide. Yes. The monastery. And ask for what? Sanctuary! They can't refuse us. And even if they do, you'd rather do battle with a band of monks than with Saxons. They'll hide us. Once inside, we can take hostages. Really? You thought as much of our task as you did of your own safety. And yours, Sven. And yours. 
Go south and complete your mission. Then. Progress chart, okay. He's doing this all just to meet the king. For said measurement miles, kilometers in the weather. You doing, doctor? <laughs> ah, I love that little head nod. Go. I have a windshield, sir. 73, right in the middle of your spinal cord. Yes, very curious. Now then, I have some questions for you, and I want them answered. Continue. Hmm? Continue. Hmm? It was somewhere about here. No. The only way the doctor could move the TARDIS would be to dematerialize. So? If the doctor left here in the TARDIS, he couldn't get back. What's this? Vicky, come and take a look at this. What? Just come and look. Stop being angry. What you make of that? It's a... It's a gun. You're just gonna leave the gun there? Come on, guys. This may not be a gun, but I can still do you a considerable amount of harm. Oh, old man <laughs> of violence, I'm surprised at Never you. Never mind about all that. What is it you're doing here? Hmm? What are you up to? Hmm? The door, I must I go. I'll just leave that, shall we? Hmm? Because you're not wearing the right sort of clothes. Oh. Didn't you just call him doctor? Yes, I see, I see. First you want to open the door, then you want the chance to reverse the position with the help of whoever it is outside. Secondly, you want to get me into a monk's habit. And remember, no more monkery. <laughs> nice pun. No more monkery. <laughs> Wait there. And be quiet. Doctor. Suit you. Yep. I wouldn't turn my back on him either. This is no way to treat a man in my position. Quiet, old man. This will do. Lock him in here. It all looks so different in daylight. Uh-huh. Here it is. Oh, don't tell me we have to crawl down that thing again. Well, we can hardly go and knock on the front door now, can we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear man, you had me quite worried. I thought you were never coming in. <laughs> oh, and that's what Susan's gonna... Or Susan. That's what Vicky's gonna see. Now, Woolnoth, you will light the fires when I ask, won't you? And keep them burning. That's not suspicious. If you say so, Father. Splendid, splendid. Now I must go back to the monastery. They don't suspect a thing. What did the old man say of the Vikings? He spoke of a planned invasion. Of many hundred ships. We mm. come fast. Game, you don't have Ian's fighting ability. <laughs> You're still here, are you? Good. All I've got to do now is to take care of you, your friend, and the doctor. Oh, by the way, you'll be pleased to know I've arranged the fires for your colleagues. <laughs> oh, is she gonna stumble across his plans? Hey, Stephen, look at this. I think it's a cable. It is. Well, that's strange. What's it doing coming out of here? A door! Uh, let me out. It's a TARDIS. Are we going to meet one of Doctor's people? Or was that the Doctor's TARDIS? Oh, I guess I'll have to wait till next uh, next episode. Woo. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Things happened. I'm just I'm stunned by them walking into a TARDIS, like in into one. Um, 
but it does seem like the leader of the village is starting to suspect there was something of that monk. And I think the monk is doing it literally just to meet the king. That's it. And he's trying to draw them in so he can destroy the Vikings for the king and take the credit. So can't wait to get to the next one. Um, yeah, I'm just ready to go to the next one. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe. Find me on the discords. Till next time, take care.